All right. If y'all remember, spark plugs are out. Good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these real quick, drop them in. Sir, this is the brand that y'all want to go with NGK for the record. Then, of course, got your old ones. Man, them things will beat the fuck up. You got the new Jones right there. So, while I'm opening up these uh, boxes for the spark plugs, I'm gonna kind of touch on something that I thought was uh, interesting about. I guess all of this, right? So, the um, core packs from MSD versus the core packs from Rip Mods. Um, I was reading, because of course I'm in all these forums and, you know, I like to know what's going on and all of that. So, I'm in these forums, man. And uh, people... I ain't gonna say roasting, but people were basically talking down about the wear my cold packs. And here, the reason it was for this though, and I think it's valid, which is also why I didn't go with it. Y'all be the judge. So I, um, Rip Mods, their cold packs, reasonable price. Actually, it ain't really a price difference, I guess, in terms from Rip Mods to MSD, which I went with, but. Rip Mods ones have been causing misfires and other just crazy ass issues, which you wouldn't expect from a company like Rip Mods. It's not me talking down on them. It's not the case. But enough people said it. Enough people said it in various groups, different people. So that kind of made me sit back and say, yeah, you know what? Nah. I love Rip Mods. I love the company. I love what they stand for. I love what they're doing to the six. Uh, six cylinder community but it's not for me man so i went with msd one because i didn't come across too many bad reviews on them two i like the color options that they got hell i got one side down i can show y'all this so that's what it's going to look like granted once the intake manifold gets put back on top but that's what it looks like man my shit looks great. So those are the reasons why I went with them. Y'all are free to make your own decision, man. Just make an informal, make an educated one. But enough of that, man, because y'all came to the video to see the install. So let's get straight to that. Let's go. All right, so spark plugs in because y'all literally just watched that happen. So they tell you to get uh, boot grease, basically spark bug, spark plug, boot grease. MSD core packs already come with it. Um, so I kind of wasted. I think that little, I think that little piece right about there was like two or three bucks at AutoZone. 
wasted it. It's cool. Um, in terms of part numbers, you could just Google that, man. It literally brings that up. You got two different color options. You got red and black, I want to say. But of course, because my car is a red and black with white color option or color scheme, I went ahead and went with the red because, I mean, fuck, look at it, man. It looks damn good. So that's just my preference, man. And um, yeah, let's get these in. All right, so for these little pieces right here, they're already facing which way they need to go. And you'll hear the little click. Boom. Uh, something else I actually do want to point out. So horsepower gains on these. Um, if you go to, I went to Holly Performance for mine, but if you go to the actual MSD website, you're going to see reports of 10 to 15 horsepower, maybe more. Um, I wouldn't necessarily read into that that much because one, it kind of determines if you run into two, um, other mods that you've done to the engine or car for performance kind of play into it as well. So I wouldn't necessarily go too deep into what the horsepower gains are and performance are so you'll definitely get a better performance regardless because you're running aftermarket cold packs and spark plugs so close that. i just want to pay attention to the horsepower gains that you're probably going to see online and stuff just my recommendation. But, uh, yes, yeah, sir. Let's put this thing going right here. Get the finished product. Something that I kind of, kind of iffy on this right here. I don't know if that piece, which is the, uh, the little, just whatever the fuck this is. I don't know. Heat. And I don't fucking know. I'm not sure if that is legit supposed to stay there or if I can run it like so. I am not too sure about that. So I'm gonna do some research real quick. And um, basically the next clip is either gonna be like this or it's gonna have that little piece on there. But I'll let y'all know real soon, man. So yeah, man. I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave that off. I'll keep it just in case. I don't really plan on putting it back on. But from what I was reading, um, you don't necessarily need it. It doesn't really serve a purpose. And yeah, you might get the questions of, well, they wouldn't put it there if it didn't serve a purpose. And I get that. I get that. But I might get better without it, man. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put these screws back in for the upper intake. Uh, remember, these are eight mil screws right here. And that's for all the screws that are on the intake manifold. So I'm gonna set y'all up somewhere and let y'all watch it, man. And let's move on to the rest of the install. Um, while I'm doing this, I do wanna talk to y'all about something. I'm not sure what I should do next in terms of the build. So, 
I'm definitely going to be swapping this out. And I'm going to swap out the lower also. That's still going to happen. But uh, other than that, I don't exactly know what else to do, man. So... All right, so screws are tightened back in. Count them with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab these right here. These actually are 10 mil, so. Go ahead and put these back on where they belong, which is right here. So I'm gonna hold off on tightening that one up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this fucking weird ass one back down there. So, see if I can get a good angle of that. All right, back screw is uh, back in there. The washer stays on the house. Well, you ain't got no choice, but it's so cool. Got all of that. Let's go ahead and Start mounting all of this back up. All right, so in terms of fuses and where they go, that one sits right here. I mean, even if you kind of mess this up, the sizes will tell you that they don't fit. But that one goes back to uh, this area right here. This one sits in the, uh, right there. This one goes to the throttle body. That one goes to the intake. So I'm gonna go ahead and Get these going. Now everything clicks. This one actually clamps back on there. All right, so intake, and then that one. So boom, let's move on to this bad boy right here. Yes, yeah, sir. See that thing right there? And, uh, gasket. That might fall, but it's cool for right now. I don't really. Actually, you know what? I'll do it different. Do it differently. Sit it on the back like that. So, I'm gonna have to sit y'all somewhere real quick so I can 
finish doing this right here. Take this up. I need to clean this thing. But um, tube is in. Manifold is on. All hoses and connectors and everything is connected. Minus this right here. But I'm going to grab this and put all of this back together real quick. All right, gang. So everything is uh buttoned up still. Besides this, because I'm about to I'm about to go over this little mandatory little option right here about to go over that it's a separate video y'all will get that but um in terms of this everything is connected you got all your fuses in the spots where they belong everything is good those look fucking fantastic intake is good to go everything is rerouted plugged back in so naturally, the next step is going to be, um, I'm gonna double check everything again because it's just kind of what I do. I'm gonna double check everything. 
Make sure I didn't skip anything. I didn't miss any fucking screw. Um, I'm going to start it up, see how it sounds, and probably let it run for a few minutes, and then I'll take it out real quick, swing it around the base, see what happens. And uh, Yeah, man. So the next video y'all should be seeing from me is definitely going to be the uh, it's going to be the review of this catch can right here. That's why nothing is uh, hooked up on this yet. So, but yeah, man, listen, it's been a long day. This was a very aggravating thing to do. Very aggravating. However, say I take this to the dealership. And I said, hey, I want y'all to replace my coil packs, spark plugs, you name it, right? Basic, borderline tune-up. Say, hey, I want y'all to do this. <sighs> Judging from the prices around here and what Google's saying and what reading other customers' reviews and shit, I saved myself like 1200 bucks, man. So, but the point of that, the point of what I'm saying is this. I actually didn't do it because I need a tune-up. I'm only at 67,000 miles, so... Realistically, I didn't need spark plugs. However, if you're replacing coil packs, why not replace spark plugs? You got right into it. You might as well just get in there and take it out. Cost you like two more minutes at your time. So went ahead and did it, man. I got the best ones on the market there is for this specific car. 2016, 3.6 liter, 300. Um, the coil packs, like I said before, you got rib mods, you got MSD. Um, I want to say there was just one more brand out there, but I wouldn't necessarily be wasting time on a unestablished brand. Possibly. It's hit or miss. MSD, best ones on the market. Hardly any negative reviews. They look great. Um, price point was very fucking good. And uh, it gives the fucking car like an extra little step, man. So just imagine... You're at a car meet and you come across this right here and you see those sitting there. Shit looks badass, man. But um, yeah, man, I'm gonna knock out this review real quick for y'all because I told y'all the grind is back home. Dropping bangers. Yeah, man, I catch y'all in the comments for this one, man. Stay tuned, more videos on the way, more engine modifications on the way more ways to help y'all make your car better enjoy it more possibly save money but just make your car badass so stay tuned we out